What do we got here? I have a 1975 uh, Cavan Alouette II RC helicopter. I'd be interested in seeing the statistics on how many people have flown one of these things into themselves. <laughs> I'm coming into the store today to sell my RC helicopter. I'm looking to get about $1,500 for it. Because of its rarity, I mean, there's not many around. If I was able to get $1,500, I think I'd take my fiance, we'd go on a real helicopter. This is interesting. My father's over here lingering, so apparently he likes it quite a bit, too. I mean, uh, these things were really, really cool. This is uh, Gavon from the 70s. Yeah, no, why don't you no. tell him how much you love it, Dad? This Kavan guy right here, he basically made RC engines a lot more reliable. To get everything to work right, you know, you had to get a motor powerful enough to create lift on this thing that was reliable. It's that whole power to weight ratio. Um, with an airplane, you have wings that create lift. We don't need as much power. With this right here, basically the motor lifts the whole thing up. Also, these things came out in the 70s, and the other problem with the 70s is they didn't have, like, really high-strength plastics or carbon fiber, which made it even harder because this thing's made out of metal, which makes it even heavier, so you need even a more powerful motor. But now they have drones that have GPS, and they have yep. electronic gyros in them, and they have all this other stuff. Didn't you fly a drone into yourself last year? Um, yeah, cut through a leather jacket, oh, a Pendleton, a T-shirt, and my wife wanted me to get stitches. But duct tape worked. Um, <laughs> so, um, how much you want for this? You know, I'm thinking somewhere in the 1500 range. It's a lot of money for this. Um, it's not the Ranger jet. So, I'd give you 200 bucks. How about um, 900? 200 bucks. And I'm being generous at that, I really am. I think, I, I think I'll hold on to it. All right, well, thanks for bringing it in. Brought some back some memories. Appreciate it, man. Take care. Uh, thank you. Thanks, guys. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. He's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.